Okay, so this morning, just after I woke up, um, I had a revelation, maybe? I don't know. It's not like a vision, but like something drops in your spirit as knowledge, and you're shown something. So um, I was standing um, in front of a mirror, and in the reflection, I could see a friend of mine far away from me that um was was sinning i could see her in the distance and i could see the sin and um she just seemed really really far and then i looked in the mirror to look at my reflection and it wasn't there and i just felt like the mirror was representative of the Holy Spirit convicting us of sin and I didn't see anything in the mirror because obviously Jesus um, washes our way our sins if we repent of them and so I saw her willfully in her sin a long distance from me and I also had in uh, a feeling of I wanted to be really close to the Holy Spirit, the mirror, it was like a big, huge draw, and I, I, I was wanting, I was a little bit torn, I, you know, she's my friend, I wanted to, to be over there with her too, uh, to talk to her, but it was this undeniable desire to be close to the mirror, and so it was, it was a conflict within, so, um, I'm reminded of the passage that says, um, what, uh, I don't know exactly, it's basically what business does light have to do with dark and, and not keeping the company of those who are willfully sinning. So, um, it was, um, a twofold message, I think, um, one being uh, Jesus washes us clean and there is no, the mirror wasn't reflecting anything. There wasn't anything that reflected in the mirror of sin. And the desire to be in that state and close to the Holy Spirit and have him in me and working through me. And yet, still part of a little bit of the flesh even though I saw that the sin was terrible, there was still the, you know, this is my friend, maybe I should go over there. But then as I started to go, there was this undeniable wanting to cling to the Holy Spirit, to be close. And so, it was interesting. It's it's kind of got me thinking all day long. Um... probably won't publish this one on YouTube, but I, I did want to make it to, to keep the, you know, video diary going about everything that's happening. It's amazing. I found, um, through one of the videos on spiritual warfare, there was a download of the, um, prayers for sp spiritual warfare, and I prayed that last night before sleeping um it's it's quite long it's like 34 pages and i prayed probably i don't know 10 pages of prayers <clears throat> before sleeping so uh, i'm sure i wreaked a little bit of havoc in uh satan's kingdom it's pretty powerful so I think I probably will do a video on that and put the link to that download so that other people can be blessed by that. Um, so the Holy Spirit, you know, he's he's working in me and, and that God is a jealous God and we're called the righteousness and
And it's funny because, you know, when you're when you're following the world, you're thinking, oh, you know, it's so it it's so hard to be a Christian. And then Jesus says, my yoke is light. And the funny thing is, is that once you get rid of all of the forces that have been, you know, holding you back and um, holding you down or even demonizing you or or what have you, it's so much has lifted, so much has lifted. And you don't really realize what kind of weight sin really is. The weight of it. The weight of sin. I mean, if the wages of sin is death, then think of all that weight you're carrying around. And the burden of it. It's just amazing. I mean, I haven't really had this much energy in a really long time. I mean, I changed my diet a couple of years ago, and that helped. But now it's just like, I mean, I'm staying up to 11 o'clock at night. That never happened since that, for many, good decade for sure, for sure. It's interesting. I don't know if there's anything more to say about that, but um, it just seems as the more I become closer and desire righteousness and walk in the path and seek Jesus, the more that is revealed. Um, That's it, I guess. It's been interesting. I went to see my sister and and told her about changes and stuff like that. So something big is coming. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but. It just seems like imminence, imminent, big, big wave of change. And we'll see what happens.